what was that about two years that that lasted Fred uh, yeah, about two years. Yeah, and you know, it really started a lot of controversy in uh, you know the bodybuilding. And one of the things you talked about earlier, you know, when you first came on here, was that when you got into it, everybody was looked at as a demigod. Like all the big guys mm -hmm. were thought of as wow, impressive, and it's like this industry has really kind of turned where it's like now a guy's big, and it's like oh, that guy's on juice, you know, and it's like it's this this you don't have that same feeling like in, in the gym industry and in the business but one of the things too about yourself though is you've there's a lot of power lifters who make fun of bodybuilders at the same time and, and it was like you you have like a respect for everybody and, and and in that way that you've you've actually had your hands involved in, in a lot of those different things but I, I had the opportunity to go to the WBF that convention that time the um the workshop for two days in, in the Titan Towers and I'll tell you that was it was amazing and being well, around all the guys I put on. yeah yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> I um those are beautiful days. <laughs> <laughs> they were the best. You know, I mean, the 80s and 90s, uh, bodybuilding and, and just like, you know, the powerlifting and, and everything was just... Uh, I try to explain it to the bricks here, and 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 I don't know if you. He always says like I'm old. <laughs> goes, okay. I'm Let me explain I'm why. Afraid. Let me explain why. Okay. He's like, who are these guys? Brian I'm is like old. Eddie Robinson. You remember him? I know who? these guys. Wait a minute. I know Eddie Robinson. I know Ray Robinson. I know Gary who Dr. Strider is. I know Gary Strider. The thing is, okay, I follow those old school principles and you know that about me yeah even though at times i do like to see a freak every now and again but i would never want to have the physiques of the bodybuilders of today yeah they look pregnant okay <laughs> they look stupid they they walk down the street they all have invisible lat syndrome everybody in the gym wants to be like these idiots okay they they start slamming the weights they can't maintain the weights they well, eat, in they the eat as if it's going out it's in every you know, what gym i'm saying is some of the gyms allow it some of the gyms don't even allow it but a gym owner <clears throat> most of the time in most circumstances doesn't even want these guys there well that's their fault where in the past this is what he's saying in the past these guys had a certain level of respect from their peers and people looking up to them i mean there's a picture right here fred with hulk hogan i mean yeah. that's a guy you grew up with and you're like wow i want to be like hulk hogan you know yeah, terry terry's a nice fella right. if you knew him you'd understand what i'm talking about i travel around the world with that guy he's just the greatest guy to be around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, out of all the different sports and everything, like you said, powerlifting was pretty much the one you stuck with. But when it comes to fitness, where do you find like your, your, your most passionate? Is it the whole spectrum? Do you do you really like everything about it? No, not everything. <laughs> That's good. That's no, good. Not everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us like, what it know, is that you don't like. Huh? Tell us what it is that you don't like. The commercialism. Mm. It, it's killing everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's there's legitimate science behind a lot of the things that are being done. Right. And then comes along the marketeers, and they ruin it. <laughs> okay. I'll give you an example. Please do. Yeah. Please yeah. do, because I, I, I got a big smile on my face, because <laughs> I'm loving this. I, I, I I'm loving the honesty. <laughs> I could give you many, many examples. I'll give you <laughs> one. Okay. The paleo diet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, is everybody familiar with the paleo diet? Basically, the paleo diet uh, pundits. Uh -huh. Say that well, uh, the uh, man in the Paleolithic era, which ranged from about ten thousand years ago to uh, about twenty-five thousand years ago, you know, post post caveman, mm -hmm. you know, post Neanderthal, <laughs> you know, uh, they didn't they didn't know how to grow stuff, so they didn't have wheat, they didn't have corn. And uh, they weren't real good at fishing. They could catch a salmon <laughs> once in a while. I would say he's like that. He's salmon. salmon. <laughs> Stick their paw down inside the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so basically what they ate was stuff that they could hunt and gather. Okay. And they say that that's the right way for man to eat. Mm -hmm. And they base their conclusion on the fact that back in those days, they didn't have many, many of the present-day maladies that man suffers from today. Okay. 
and you know they're absolutely right about that. Correct. Or not. Yeah. And and uh, and so a thinking person would take all of this information in and say, okay, I got to cut down on my intake of grains and pasta. Yep. Because, you know, don't forget, you know, the grain that you eat, the, the wheat, just give you one example. The wheat that you eat didn't even exist 50 years ago. Right. It's all genetically engineered wheat that man has never been designed to eat that stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I don't eat it. Huh. And I won't. I, I won't eat that stuff. I, I don't eat that kind of stuff, and I don't eat pasta. And I try to stay away from all of the other substances that man has shown to have a, uh, uh, a sensitivity towards or a, an out-and-out uh, allergy towards. For example, peanuts. Mm-hmm. So many people have uh, peanut allergies or sensitivity to peanuts. So many people have sensitivity or allergy to to uh, dairy products and to mm-hmm. gluten that's found in the wheat. I try to stay away from that kind of stuff and eat clean. Right. Right. I, I try my best to eat real food. You know, and this dates back to my youth when I grew up on a farm. I ate real food. I didn't eat stuff out of a can. I was brought up in an orphanage, so we didn't have stuff in a can. We grew our own food That's there right. in Connecticut. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> it, it's the it's the healthy way to live. Eat real food, stuff that 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 the earth gives you, right. instead of stuff that's been adulterated by man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Do you feel as though the paleo diet is okay? Uh, it's just improper that there's things well, missing. Is that the marketing people have grabbed the whole of the whole concept of paleo uh-huh. and have so twisted it that uh, you, it's unrecognizable? And they're selling paleo bars now that you can eat, right? <laughs> right. Paleo balls that you can stand on, right? You know, and all that kind of utter nonsense. You know, and 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 the. Uh, because of all of the marketing that surrounds the movement, yeah. uh, you know, the whole concept has uh, has lost its luster. And uh, so, so I object to that kind of stuff in general. Yeah. And I, I like to tell people, eat natural. Right. You know, right. that's what the paleo people tried to tell people. Right. But uh, they had a lot of things wrong. Okay. Yeah. Is Can the paleo you- diet similar to, like, the zone diet? Is it just, like, another hypey type of thing or is this well Barry Sears did the zone diet based yeah. upon my research I have to tell you that okay. all you got to do is look in the uh, back of uh, Barry Sears book the zone diet yeah. and you'll see all of my graphs and tables on protein intake and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> so that one's good <laughs> I sure hope you got some credit out of that one though Fred <laughs> Well, he, he invited me up to Boston and asked me to do some stuff with him but nothing materialized from it alright okay hey uh, Fred uh before we get off, uh, you know, I, I, I want to give you your just do. So can you please give out your information, uh, website, or how somebody can contact you? The link is on our website. Oh, yeah. You have the link on the FTNS website already. But, okay. um, no, nah, but, like, you know, Fred, yeah, like... Give out some... Uh, go on right ahead. Okay. Uh, I got... Uh, I'll give you two or three references. Please do. www. ISSAonline.edu. You won't see any of the other organizations that certify people with a .edu behind their name. Only we do. Mm-hmm. And and then my personal website, which is sort of like my my ego page, <laughs> DrSquat.com. <laughs> and if you want to see me on Facebook. They tell me that I can't take in any more friends, but you can still see my stuff. Okay. I guess I have too many people following. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a very, very serious Christian man. Yes, sir. And I use my Facebook to uh, sow seeds. Mm-hmm. I tell people things that I believe sincerely that they need to know mm-hmm. about our Father. Right. And as simple as that. So if you want to come around to Facebook, come and see me. Mm-hmm. I like that. 